All right, Joe Dawes, in today's video, I want to discuss a stock that I've been following for quite some time now called Kawi, also known as Coralware Incorporated. I have to say I'm very excited and bullish on the stock, and I wanted to share this information with you today. But before we get started, I'm not offering any specific investment advice. You should do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor. And any investments you do are at your own risk and responsibility. This is all my opinion, and I'm not able to guarantee any specific outcome. By the way, if we haven't met yet, I'm Joe, and I love to make videos regarding personal finance, investing, real estate, and life topics. If you find any value in this video, do me a favor and smash the like button. It really helps me out. So Cowie is a penny stock, and more specifically, a sub-penny stock. So the way in which penny stocks operate are a lot different than traditional, more high-dollar stocks such as Amazon or Tesla. I have to reiterate, this is my opinion from trading penny stocks over the last 10 years. I have to say I've experienced and learned a lot over the years. I've had ups and downs. I've made thousands of dollars in profit and I've also lost money. So I won't bore you with a lot of the info from the past, but I'll fill you in on what's going on right now. Coraware was previously a software professional services company whose focus was on R&D, engineering services, business processes, workflow, software architecture, design, and development that is now transitioning into a carbon and hydrogen tech company. So over the last couple months, Cali has been in the process of getting its financial disclosure requirements up to date so they can become current once again on OTC Market Exchange. So as of to date, they've gotten their annual and quarterly reports up to date as well as an attorney letter with respect to current information. To me, that'll be a major catalyst becoming current and getting their limited report yield sign removed, which should attract a whole new pool of investors. Reason being, it's going to show that the company is becoming compliant and more transparent, which gives investors more confidence in the company. All right, guys, but this is what I'm most excited about. Corler has stated that it's at the beginning of a new era for the processing of organic waste to generate economically sustainable hydrogen and high value carbon products. Essentially, they're in the business of turning trash waste into something that can be used. That's huge hydrogen and carbon technology, which I believe is the future. Tons of money is being poured into these technologies and the green energy sector. The company states they are working on innovative hydrogen solutions and that their proprietary technology will enable them to reduce waste streams and produce hydrogen in a sustainable manner. The company also plans to work on carbon nanotubes, also known as CNTS. These are all future emerging technologies and there's a huge push within the Biden administration to provide funding to this type of technology and other green energy. Now, in looking at their quarterly report, what I find very promising is the fact that they stated in 2021, the company began investigating emerging technology, strategic intellectual property partnership, and sustainable growth business opportunities related to the production of hydrogen and high value carbon products from organic waste stream. Working cooperatively with Oxford University Innovation, Coraware plans to implement proven and patent technologies to add value to organic waste streams by utilizing these proven proprietary technologies collected and capturing waste material can be upcycled to high value carbon products such as carbon nanotubes and hydrogen gas. CNTS can be used for improved electrical conduction and reinforcing materials that are used in a wide variety of industries including the automotive industry, aviation industry, medical industry, and construction. The number one growth driver is the increasing need for high performance battery for the electric vehicle market. They also stated that the global hydrogen market is expected to more than double by the end of the decade. Plastic waste is a cheap and abundant feedstock that would allow the company to scale quickly and produce hydrogen gas for a competitive price. All right, so in looking at the recent disclosures, the financials, item seven, which states management's discussion and analysis of financial condition and results of operation, they stated that their corporate plan of action moving forward is the following. We believe that Coraware is now positioned for establishing a high growth and profitable business venture related to the production of hydrogen and high value carbon products from organic waste stream. The company plans to establish a research and development center in the United Kingdom and waste streams conversion plants in the Netherlands and the United States. The company has signed a licensing agreement with Oxford University Innovation and will establish a research and development team to scale up the existing technologies, continue to research new waste stream transformation technologies, and so much more. Additionally, the company plans to seek out government programs in the United Kingdom, European Union, and United States that encourage the development of high value production of hydrogen and high value carbon products from organic waste stream. Finally, the company plans to establish operational centers and waste stream conversion plants wherever the company can have consistent quantity of organic waste stream. In my opinion, these are huge catalysts, guys. The company is looking to partner and expand outside of the United States to go international. Now, the CEO, Lloyd Spencer, is also CEO of another company, the sister company, DGWR, Deep Green Waste and Recycling. So he already has experience in this area 
and there's some infrastructure in place. Matter of fact, we could be looking at a reverse merger between Cali and DGWR. Anything is possible. I like the fact that the company has a clear roadmap, a very clear direction of where they are headed. And so far, they made tremendous progress over the last several months. So first thing is they've been updating their media platforms to better inform shareholders and potential partners of their activities. OTC Pink Current is in progress. Matter of fact, I'm hoping it gets updated this week as all of the required paperwork has already been submitted. The company has stated that once they are OTC pink current, which again, guys, I think could happen very soon, that they will file an offering statement on Form 1-A with the SEC to qualified investors in a regular A public offering. This could lead to increased shareholder value, more stability in the stock price, and growth potential. The company has also stated that they have identified several potential partners that they are in talks with, potential customers, and that they will again announce those partnerships summer of 2021. So again, guys, it appears that the company has information to disclose, but are unable to do so until they are OTC pink current which should be happening very soon possibly this week now i want to reiterate that no one can predict the future this stock in my opinion could be considered a high risk high reward play and for full transparency they do have some work to do while i am impressed by them getting everything updated and that they seem to have a ton of things in the pipeline from a financial perspective things are not so great the company will need to find a way to generate revenue and they do have some liabilities on their books so a lot of the success will depend on the company's ability to raise money and execute on their plan so if we look strictly at the financials, then many people would say that investing in this company is a waste of money. It's not going anywhere. But I have to say, I see huge potential and pending catalysts. And from my experience of trading penny stocks over the years, having a clean, healthy financial sheet is just one factor in whether or not the share price will go up. Again, guys, most of these penny stocks are starter companies. So of course, they're not going to have a ton of money and will have some debt. So in my opinion, we have to look beyond that and think outside of the box. Now, from a technical perspective, the stock has been on the rise. Two to three months ago, it was trading in the trips and has broken out and has been trading solidly in the teens the last month. The stock has been having higher highs and higher lows over the last month. Within the last two weeks, we've been in a sideways trading pattern, but the accumulation of the stock is off the scale. Now, this past Friday, we had a small sell-off. What is interesting is at the very end of the day, someone bought 223 million shares, which is an investment of $2.6 million at that share price. That tells me that something's going on and we may be close to this thing heading to the moon. Again, this is all my opinion, but I thought I would share this with you. Now, I'm fortunate to have gotten 11 million shares at triple zero one, and I bought another 600,000 shares at various levels. Just this past week, I was up 23,000, but I don't plan on selling any shares whatsoever until the stock reaches the two to three cents range in which I will sell a small portion. But my ultimate goal is to hold this stock to 10 cents and above and hopefully become and have a millionaire profit off this stock. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Joe, that's insane, that's crazy. It can never happen. I'm here to tell you from my own experience in trading penny stocks and sitting on the sidelines watching other plays over the years. In penny land, the OTC world, all types of crazy things can happen. Now, in my opinion, I do see the stock hitting the two to five cents in the short term, meaning within the next three months, depending on what type of partnerships, contracts, and how well the company execute on their plan. And I do see 10 cents could happen long term. So guys, this is a stock I plan to hold for a while to see what happens. And of course, as time progresses, I'll reevaluate my investing strategy. Please comment below and let me know your thoughts on Kawi. I would love your feedback. I really hope you found value in this video. If you did, do me a favor and tap the like button and share it with others. It really helps to support and grow the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I'm posting value new content multiple times a week. Thanks again for watching and until next time.